now let us discuss here about sr flip flop using nor gate in the previous video we have seen about sr flip flop using nand gate there sr flip flop is a combination of uh, sr latch and we require two more nand gates but here sr flip flop is also a cam combination of sr latch using the nor gate and instead of nand gates here we require and gates so that is the difference in nand gate implementation we require two more nand gates but in nor gate implementation we require and gates okay here the first input is r input second input is s input whereas in nand gate implementation the first input is s second input is r but using nor gate implementation here the we have two and gates the first and gate accepts r as the input that is reset input second and gate accept s input that is set input and we have to apply clock pulse on both the and gates this combi this portion is nothing but sr latch this portion is nothing but sr latch using nor gate it uh, here the first output is q second output is q bar these two outputs are complemented to each other okay uh, now let us analyze the circuit with the help of the truth table uh, let we have uh, two inputs here we have two inputs s and r and it produces two outputs such as q and q bar so here the possible values are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 here we have nor gate so let us analyze nor gate truth table also so here uh, let us see about the nor gate uh, truth table so here the inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 we know about r gate what is r gate if both the inputs are 0 then the output is 0 otherwise the result is 1 so 0 triple 1 whereas nor gate means reverse of the r gate so in place of 0 1 uh, next in place of 1 0 0 if we if we observe the combination here if one of the input is 1 if one of the input is 1 then the output is 0 we should not bother about what is the second input if one of the input is 1 in our gate then the output is 0 whereas if both the inputs are 0 then the output is 1 if both the inputs are 0 then the output is 1 that is nothing but nor gate a truth table uh, first let us analyze uh, 0 1 combination so what is s value s value is 0 what is r value r value is 1 next clock pulse we must apply the clock pulse this is the difference between flip flop and latch in flip flop we must apply the clock pulse whereas in latch there is no need to apply any clock pulse so here the clock pulse value must always be 1 so this is undergate so 1 1 means output is 1 next 1 0 means output is 0 1 0 means output is 0 uh, next uh, let us see the nor gate here if one of the input is 1 then the output is 0 if we observe the first nor gate one of the input is 1 so we can say that output is 0 so this 0 will be passed as the input to the second nor gate so 0 0 means what is the output 1 is the output so if we pass 0 1 as the inputs then what is the output the output is q so what is the output q value is 0 and this is q bar these two outputs are always complemented to each other so 1 1 next let us see the next combination 1 0 1 0 so what is s value s value is 1 whereas r value is 0 r value is 0 0 1 and gate means output is 0 1 1 output is 1 so in nor gate if one of the input is 1 then the output is 0 if we observe the second nor gate one of the input is 1 so we can say that output is 0 so now this 0 will be passed as the input to the first nor gate next to 0 0 means what is the output 1 is the output so if we pass 1 1 as if we pass what is s value 1 what is r value 0 if we pass 1 0 as the inputs 
then the q value is 1 whereas q bar value is 0 next let us analyze the next combination 1 1 after that we will see about uh, 0 0 combination so s value is 1 r value is 1 s value is 1 s value is 1 r value is 1 so 1 1 means output is 1 1 1 means output is 1 so first NOR gate is accepting 1 as the input second NOR gate is accepting 1 as the input if one of the input is 1 then the output is 0 so q value is 0 q bar value is 0 but the situation won't arise why because here the outputs should always be complemented to each other so we can say that this is invalid combination this is invalid combination we never use 1 1 combination why because here we are getting 0 0 as the outputs they are not complementing to each other so 1 1 means it is invalid combination we never use this combination now let us see the first combination that is 0 0 so s value is 0 r value is 0 s is 0 r is 0 s is 0 r is 0 so 0 1 means output is 0 0 1 means output is 0 output is 0 so here one of the input is 0 if one uh, for the first NOR gate as well as for the second NOR gate one of the input is 0 if one of the input is 0 then we can't predict what is the output why because if the second input is 0 we will get 1 as the output if the second input is 1 we will get 0 as the output so that's why we don't know what is the output so let us uh, uh, take some trial and error approach let q value is 1 q bar value is 0 why because here the outputs are always complemented to each other so let us assume that q is 1 so obviously q bar value will become 0 so this 0 will be passed as the input to the first NOR gate this one will be passed as the input to the this one will be passed as the input to the second NOR gate okay yeah this one will be passed as the input to the second NOR gate so 0 0 means what is the output 1 is the output 0 1 means what is the output 0 is the output if you observe here what is the previous output 1 so now also we got 1 if you observe the previous output 0 so now also we got 0 so we can say that if the inputs are 0 0 then we can save that it is for memory it is simply useful in order to remember the previous output okay so th this is useful for uh, there is no change in the previous output so previous output as well as present output both are same only so if you observe here if s value is 0 r value is 0 then the output is memory that means there is no change in the output if s value is 0 r value is 1 then what is the output output means q value what is the output 0 is the output 0 stands for reset 0 stands for reset here what is the combination r value is 1 if r value is 1 then q value must be 0 only so this is nothing but reset output next if s value is 1 and r value is 0 what is the output here q is the output q contains 1 1 stands for set 1 stands for set so this is nothing but set output here s value is 1 so that's why we got set as the output we can draw this truth table in another way also so s value r value q n plus 1 q n plus 1 specifies next state output q n plus 1 specifies next state output whereas q n specifies present state output so q n means present state whereas q n plus 1 means next state next state output here the combinations are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so what is 1 1 when when the when s value is 1 r value is 1 then the output is invalid combination invalid combination we can't use that combination if s value is 1 r value is 0 then what is the output set set is the output so set so here set this is nothing but reset this is nothing but set so set is the output so set means output is 1 if s value is 0 r value is 1 then what is the output reset is the output so reset means output is 0 
if s value is 0 g, uh, r value is 0 then the output is q n so q n means present state output is similar to the next state output so present state output as well as next state output both are same only this is about sr flip flop using nor gate so till now we have seen two videos on sr flip flop first one is using nand gate second one is using nor gate the truth table is same for both nand gate as well as nor gate implementation same truth table we got in the two approaches in the next video we will discuss about characteristic table characteristic equation and the excitation table for the sr flip flop for NAND gate, for NOR gate, all the tables, excitation table, characteristic table, characteristic equation, all are same only. Why? Because we got the same truth table for both NAND implementation as well as NOR implementation.